Hey YouTube, Jake is here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can run large language models or LLMs natively on your smartphone hardware. So in my previous video, I have shown you how you can run LLMs natively on your PC. But this time we're going to be doing the same thing, but with smartphones. So let me head over to my screen mirroring. Here's my smartphone screen. So let me just uh, rotate it. All right, let me take it to full screen. So the first step you need to do is to open a web browser and search for Termux F Droid. Let's open it. You can see the first link from fdroid.org. You have to open it. And you have to download it from here. Okay. So it's downloading now. Now let's open it. Now, now you have to type in the command termux setup storage. And you have to click allow and then you have to update using apt update and apt upgrade y So now we have successfully updated all the packages. Now we have to download all the packages that we need. For example, here we will be going to download EKG, install, uh, CLang, WGET, and uh, EMAKE. All right, so now it's done. Let's type clear. So now you have to open a web browser and search llama.epp. And you have to open this repository, this GitHub repository by George Jerganov. Let's open it. And go to the bottom. All right, so here we are in the releases section. Let's open it. Uh, I would recommend that you do not download the 2.167 version because it has some bugs and it will not compile on your smartphone. So what I recommend instead is that you download this one, the version 2.144. So you have to click on assets and press and hold the source code zip and click the copy link. Now the link is copied. You have to go back termux and type wget is the link and press enter let's see if it's downloaded over here let's type ls we have the zip file over here so now we have to unzip it so for that we have to type unzip let me copy it oh, check. copy paste and enter unzipped uh, directory is here llama.cpp b2144 let me rename it to something simpler like llama dot cpp okay so here's the llama.cpp folder you have to open it cd llama.cpp 
in the lama.cp folder we have all these files now we have to type in the command make so now it's going to compile all right so the compilation process has begun and this process is going to take some time so you just have to be patient it may seem like nothing is happening but compilation is actually happening in the background okay so the compilation process is now finished type ls you can see the server file here that's what we need let me just check by typing dot slash server so the compilation process has completed successfully because now it's saying that unable to load model uh, that's because we do not have a model yet so for that we will be downloading a model so for downloading a model we need to go to the hugging face website or just search uh, for this uh, for this uh, video, I'll be using the tiny llama model. So I'll be let's type tiny llama gguf. Let's open this link. I'll be providing all the links in the description. So here's the tiny llama 1.1 billion chat version 1.0 gguf. Now you have to go to files and open the Q5KM version. Press and hold the download link. Type copy link, select it and open Termux again. CD models and now we are going to make a directory named 7B mkdir. 7b cd 7b changing directory to 7b and now we're going to be typing wget and pasting the link so what it's going to do is it's going to download the model in this directory now press enter Alright, so the model is now downloaded successfully. Now we're going to go to the home directory, ddlama.cpp, and type uh, dot slash server. Uh, I know it's not going to run, but uh, we just need to see the name of the model that it's expecting. And here it is. You just have to copy this much. copy clear go to the 7b directory cd models slash 7b now ls now we have to rename it mv paste this is the previous name copy it We have to type the original name before the name that we want to change it into so it should look something like this and you have to press enter now type ls as you can see the model name is now changed to ggml model f16.ggf go to the home directory again go to the llama.cpp directory and now when you type dot slash server the model is now loading okay so now it's loaded successfully now here it says llama server listening at uh, this localhost at the port 8080 you have to copy it open a web browser and paste it here all right so here the llama.cpp is now running on our smartphone the connection is now you can see the connection here let me just turn off the internet so that i can show you that it's running locally 
let's ask it something for example what are classes and objects in object oriented programming Now remember this is running on a 5 year old phone with just 4 gigabytes of RAM so the performance is going to suffer and if you have a better phone with around 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM you can use some other models as well. This inference speed is actually quite decent. Uh, it says classes represent the structure of your program, they contain methods, variables and other code fragments that can be executed by an object e.g. a person, yeah that the response is correct, objects refers to the instances of the classes, yeah that's true, the properties like name, age, the methods are doing the things such as adding, subtracting, multiplying, yeah the response is totally fine. And uh, here is where things start to get messy, I don't know why it uh, just responded with llamas and started to continue conversation with itself anyway that is quite expected with a small model like tiny llama it just has 1.1 billion parameters and once again if you have uh, like 6 gigabytes of ram you can use uh, the phi 2 model which has 3 billion parameters and it's released by microsoft so yeah you can use it it will generate much better responses than this and the infant speed as you can see i'm getting uh, 3.18 tokens per second which is actually quite decent considering it's running on a snapdragon 439 which is a very low-end processor. So that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have followed all the steps correctly, then you should be running llama.cpp on your phone. So thanks for watching. And if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this.